Now, at 8, a BART train derails in Concord. We are live at the scene. We need this to stop. A school bus driver injured. The windshield smashed by someone hurling a water bottle. The CHP says there have been at least five such assaults, and the driver of this truck is responsible. A man with a knife is shot and killed by campus police officers just a block from San Jose State University. We take you into the courtroom where a mother and son are accused of skimming credit card information from local gas stations and using it to steal half a million dollars. Also tonight, the Dalai Lama arriving in the Bay Area. And the Girl Scouts learning the secret to cookie sales is location, location, location. This is a full hour of your choice for primetime news. This is the Bay Area's news station. Cron 4 News starts now with breaking news. We begin tonight at 8 with breaking news. A BART train has derailed near the Concord BART station. You're looking at a live picture there. Shutting down service in both directions. We do know no passengers were on board at the time. Cron 4's Jeff Bush is live at the scene. Jeff, what can you tell us? Well, Pam, we're here at the Concord Bard Station, and there is a sense of frustration and anxiety amongst riders here who are now trapped here at this uh, Bard Station. A bus bridge has been set up, and Bard police officers have been directing people to get onto that bridge. But you have to realize people are going in two different directions. They're trying to get farther east out to Pittsburgh, and they're also trying to get uh, farther west in towards San Francisco. Now, let's take some video, and you can see what this train looks like. It's dangling slightly off the edge. Both of those tracks are uh, blocked by this train that was derailed. Nobody, as you said, was on board except for the driver of that train. We still don't know the condition of the driver of that train, but no passengers were on board that train. Now, you can imagine what this is doing to the commute. It's the Friday commute. Everybody's getting off of work, but also it's going the other direction, too. People are trying to get ready for their plans to go out and about uh, going into San Francisco or Oakland or wherever it is that they're trying to go. So this is definitely putting a clog on all of this. Now, BART uh, spokespeople have said that this train is not going anywhere anytime soon. It's going to take them at least until the early morning hours to get it straightened out and put it back on the tracks. Um, as you can imagine, this is definitely causing a lot of problems with a lot of people who are trying to commute on BART. I'm Jeff Bush reporting live in Concord, Cron 4 News.